Hi, my name is Nikima Profit. I'm a developer advocate at PayPal. In this video, I'll show you how to open and run a sample app from a checkout integration guide with GitHub Codespaces. For this video, I'm demonstrating using our standard integration guide. You can also find the Open and Codespaces button in our Advanced and Apple Pay integration guides. I'm currently at the top of the standard integration guide, and if I scroll down a bit, I can see the Open and Codespaces button under the heading Get Up and Running in GitHub Codespaces. Next, we'll go ahead and click the button, and that opens a new page where we can set up and create the code space. Here, we're going to leave the default values on everything except for the PayPal client ID and PayPal client secret fields. For this example, I'll use my own client ID and client secret. We can find the client ID and client secret by logging into the PayPal developer dashboard at developer.paypal.com dashboard and clicking apps and credentials from the navigation bar. Here I can see the credentials for all the sandbox apps that I've created. I'm going to use the client ID in secret from the default application that came with my developer account. Now that my PayPal client ID and PayPal client secret are populated, I can click the create code space button to start up a new code space. Before I show you the GitHub code spaces development environment, Let's take a look at what you'll see when you return to Codespaces after entering a PayPal client ID and PayPal client secret. I'll click the Open in Codespaces button once more. The PayPal client ID and PayPal client secret are saved to Codespaces secrets. So the next time we open a new Codespace from an integration guide, we won't have to re-enter the credentials unless we're switching to a different sandbox application. If you need to edit or delete your credentials, you can manage your secrets in your Codespaces settings. Now the code space is set up to start and open the application in a new window automatically, but the browser doesn't like that and blocks the pop-up. Since the pop-up was blocked, I'll go ahead and click the link to open the app. And here we have our standard integration. Let's test it out. We have a transaction for $100 and I'm going to pay with the PayPal balance. Let's complete the purchase. And we see that the transaction was completed. Since we have our code space open, we can not only open and demo the app, but we can make changes to the app too. I'm going to make a change in code spaces and we'll see it reflected in the app. So I'm going to server and the server.js file, and I'm going to change the dollar amount from $100 to $200. Let's see if that's reflected in our sample app. We're going with PayPal again, and now the transaction is for $200. And that's it for this demonstration. In this video, I showed you how to open a GitHub code space from our standard integration guide. I was able to demo the running app, make changes, and see those changes reflected all in the browser using code spaces. Thanks for watching.